What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion and Twin Motion comparison video for you. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the exterior lighting and rendering settings inside of both programs and kind of the pros and cons of each one. I will link to the playlist for all of the videos comparing these two programs in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I want to note that this is a 3D warehouse model from SketchUp that I've brought into both programs. And I've kind of used each program's tools in order to add trees and things like that to the background um, so that we could have a little bit more of a, uh, a fair comparison between the two programs. So if you want to download this model, it's the DADU-Wooded Setting Variation Model by Doug Duggio P. So you can download this and follow along if you want to. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to, within each program, I wanted to go through and talk a little bit about the external lighting options contained in the programs. So both programs, both Lumion and Twin Motion, allow you to adjust the sunlight inside of your renderings. And so that sunlight adjustment is going to adjust things like your shadows and your lighting and other things like that in order to kind of customize the way that your models look. So to start off, we're going to take a look at the simplest way of lighting a model in both programs, which is going to be using the artificial sun. Um, so that's going to be kind of the baseline for lighting your models in both programs. So we can start by taking a look at the way you would do this in Lumion. So in Lumion, you can adjust the artificial sun in two places. You can adjust it inside of build mode, which is the mode where you fly around and you adjust things inside of your renderings. So you can do that by going into your weather settings and just adjusting things like your sun height, and then also your sun heading or direction, as well as your brightness of your sunlight, number of clouds in the sky, things like that. So it's fairly adjustable. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this because this just kind of gives you um, a way that this looks inside of, uh, inside of your build mode where we're actually gonna make that real adjustment though is gonna be inside of photo mode. And so what photo mode so photo mode is where we set up our renderings inside of uh, inside of Lumion. So that's where we're going to set up these settings. And so one of the settings that we can adjust inside of our images is the sunlight. And the sunlight is just an effect that you add inside of uh, Lumion. So you just go into your light and shadow and you just add sun. And so the sun effect is going to allow you to adjust a few different things. So first of all, you can adjust your sun height, which is how high up in the sky this is going to be. So if you wanted it to be dark, you would turn it down. If you wanted it to be in the middle of the day, you'd put it kind of, uh, you'd put it maybe about here or something like that. And so you can also within this adjust your sun heading, which is the direction that your sun is facing. And you can see how this actually um, moves your sun in front of the camera. If you move this over here, you can see how you can adjust this and your shadows adjust dynamically as you go. You can also adjust your brightness of your sun, which in general is going to affect the contrast between your shadows and uh, everything else. You can see how as I drag this up and down, this looks a little bit different. So I can adjust this so that my brightness is a certain brightness in order to adjust the way those shadows look and the way this is lighting my model. So now let's take a look at the way you can adjust the sunlight and shadows and things like that inside of Twin Motion. And so the way that you can do that is you can actually come in here and you can adjust that inside of either your nature settings. And I'm gonna go out of media mode for a second. Uh, media mode is where you adjust your actual rendering image. But you can either adjust that inside of your build mode, very similar to the way you can in Lumion by going into your nature settings. And then you can adjust your lighting in here. You can also adjust your sun height by going up here and adjusting the time of day. So you can see how when you adjust the time of day, um, it's adjusting where your sun orb is located. And you can see how this is dynamically adjusting the way that the sun orb is reflecting off of this windshield by making that change. So you can also adjust the heading of the sun by going into your localization settings and setting your north offset. And one thing you can do inside of Twin Motion is you can actually set a location for your sun um, based on a real world location. And this is gonna simulate your sun a little bit more accurately. So um, you can see how we can kind of make the same adjustments in here with the heading using the north offset. And then uh, you can also adjust the season um, or time of year 
which is going to affect your sun height and things like that. And so much the same way as with Lumion, you can either adjust this in your working view right here, or these are also saved inside of your images. So if I come in here and I create a new image like this, you can see how I can set the time of day that's in here for my image using this slider right here. And then you can come in here and you can adjust other settings about your sun as well. So you can adjust like the overall brightness of your sun. You can adjust the ambient lighting, which is going to affect the overall brightness of your scene in general. So you can see how if I move this up, this is going to get brighter. If I move this down, this is going to get darker. So one nice thing about twin motion is all of these settings are kind of contained in the same place, um, meaning that uh, like my sun settings are in here and I can adjust these right here. My ambient ambient lighting, which is almost like your camera exposure is in here as well. Your shadows, which is going to adjust how soft or sharp your shadows are, are all kind of located in the same place. So as well as like your ambient occlusion settings, which is going to adjust uh, the darkness of the shadows and these little nooks and crannies and things like that. So that is one nice thing about that is one nice thing about twin motion as compared to Lumion is all of these settings are contained inside your lighting settings where within Lumion if you're trying to do the same thing you can definitely do that but you have to go back in here and like adjust your shadow settings for example to change the way the shadows look. So you can adjust the brightness and darkness of your shadows and things like that, but they're located in different places, meaning you have to go find them. So like your exposure, for example, which is kind of like the ambient lighting um, in twin motion, you can definitely adjust that, but you just have to know where to look for it. So that is one nice thing about having it all in one place inside of twin motion is a lot of these things are just easier to find. So there's also settings over here for other things about your camera, like your field of view and stuff like that. I'm not going to talk too much about that at the moment. Um, so the other thing, so one of the things that can be really important when setting up your scene in these programs is the ability to adjust the environment around your scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Lumion and we're going to start taking a look at the way we can adjust our environment. And note that this is when we're lighting our uh, environment with the artificial sun. So the sun setting. So one of the things that can be really important when working on a scene like this is really having the ability to adjust the sky and the way that that looks because that really does a whole lot for your um, that really does a whole lot for your realism and things like that. So Lumion has the ability to adjust dynamically the way that your sky and clouds look inside of your rendering. So you can adjust the number of low clouds, the number of high clouds. You can adjust all of these different things inside of the background. And one of the reasons that this is important when we're talking about lighting is you also have the ability to adjust the brightness. So you can adjust the brightness of your clouds in here by adjusting these sliders. You can see how um, the more bright I make these, the more you're getting a little bit of light cast on your scene. You're also seeing a little bit more light being reflected off of these windows when you make this adjustment. And then the other thing that you can adjust in here is the brightness of your sky. And notice when you adjust the brightness of your sky, the overall brightness of your image is being affected as well. So you can really come in here and kind of customize the way that this looks to your liking um, by making all of these different adjustments. So you can adjust the softness of your clouds and other things like that. There's also a number of different cloud presets that you can kind of build off of using this slider right here. So being able to adjust your environment settings like that is really useful. Um, within Twin Motion, it has a similar feature, though this feature isn't really quite as uh, fleshed out, I don't think, in the sense that you can come into your image and you can adjust your weather so you can make it a sunny day or you can adjust this and drag this so that you get more clouds in the background. And obviously as you drag this a little further, you get like your rain settings and things like that. I don't want to talk too much about that in this video. Um, we may do another video comparing the weather features, but you can see how you can adjust those clouds. You can't really adjust the location or anything like that though, which is one thing that's a little bit frustrating because sometimes you want to uh, have your clouds in the background, but you 
you want to be able to move them around so that your light acts in a certain way and best as I've seen you can't really adjust that too much inside of twin motion um, what you can do is you can adjust this where you get a few more clouds in the background um, and then go in and kind of mess around with your lighting settings so um, within your lighting you can adjust your ambient lighting up and your sun settings to get a little bit more shadow but it's just not quite as customizable when it comes to your actual environment and what goes in the background but you can definitely make those changes which definitely affect the way that your images look inside of twin motion so and then the last thing the thing that you really have to cover when you're talking about these two programs is the ability or inability to add HDRI images as backgrounds so at the moment neither program allows you to add a custom HDRI into the background so you can't just find one load it in and then render it um, I think there may be some kind of uh, kind of crazy workarounds that you can use in order to get something like that in here but just loading it in and adjusting it is not something that you can do at the moment now I will say one of the best features that I've seen inside of Lumion was added in Lumion 9 and that's the ability to add real skies and so with real skies if I take this image right here here, you apply those as a part of your weather and climate settings under real skies and what those do is that's a number of different curated HDRI images that are in here that you can select that you can add as backgrounds in your images so you can see how there's a ton of different options in here like overcast and uh, morning and evening so you can add like a morning sun if you wanted to and you can see how these are fully adjustable in the sense that you can uh, you can really kind of change your heading in here you can't adjust them up and down so you can't adjust the sun up and down like you can uh, with the actual sun settings itself but you get a really realistic look when you're doing this and you can see how these look really good in the background so they kind of fit seamlessly you can also adjust the brightness overall that comes off of these um, so there's an overall brightness setting and a brightness setting um, I haven't really seen too much of a difference between those two settings but you can definitely use this in order to adjust the way that your lighting looks in here to get a realistic image so at the moment there's nothing really comparable inside of twin motion so I mean the only real background settings that you can adjust is you can adjust if you have one of these background images in here so you can see how you can add these and you can adjust your rotation but they're really just an image that goes in the background they don't really affect your lighting that being said at the moment they don't offer this but as everyone kind of knows twin motion just got acquired by epic games and there's been a lot of talk about them in the future using that as a bridge to unreal engine if that is the case unreal engine is about as customizable as a program can be it's like an industry leader in visualization and game creation and things like that if twin motion can act as a bridge to unreal engine in the future then you would have access to customizable HDRIs and other things like that um, just by bringing this into twin motion and then getting it into unreal engine and doing that that way so at the moment I would say with the real skies um, Lumion has a little bit of a better option just in the sense of working with HDRIs but more to come in the future I think that's really exciting we'll just have to see where this goes so that's where I'm gonna end this video leave a comment below and let me know what you thought how do you feel about this comparison between these two programs was there anything I left out how do you feel about these two programs in general I just love having that conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new render content every week as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys